Yeah, I'm doing good, Carl. And, uh, you know, because I know you've got a lot going on. Number one, I really appreciate your service, your passion and your compassion to uh, to tell this story as it is. I mean, when we're talking about the largest loss of life in, in, in 10 years in Afghanistan in, in a single attack, it's, it's incredible. I, I, you know, I don't I understand the president's going to eventually come out. We just heard from the CENTCOM commander uh, from a from a DOD uh, a briefing. And the CENTCOM commander had the gall, okay, General Frank McKenzie, he had the gall to talk about numbers of aircraft and numbers of sorties. And we have, you know, we have Apache helicopters on the, we have ISR, we have all this surveillance equipment. Hey, buddy, you just lost 12, 11, I understand, 11 Marines and one sailor. I think there's the mm-hmm. breakdown that I'm aware of. And then, and then those, you know, and, and I, I will say this, and, and, and it'll sound mean, but, you know, the loss of other lives other than Americans right now, I am not as concerned about. Mm -hmm. I am concerned about Americans. I'm concerned about two things, the American lives that are still remaining outside that wire of of, uh, the the airfield. And and as you just highlighted, about 1,500. But really, our country doesn't even know how many. And the other thing that I'm concerned about is that the men and women on that airfield, the the American soldiers, you know, sailors, Marines, airmen that are on that airfield uh, trying to continue to to fight this fight that they're in, that they have every single, you know, capability that they can have. They have all the rules of engagement in place, and they are they're not being held back because this is a deadly, deadly enemy. Now, all that said, I want to address what you just brought up. The, the United States of America has the, by itself, has the full capacity, the full capability, the, 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 all of the resources that it needs to make sure that not another service member is killed and that we are able to accomplish whatever the mission is that we're supposed to accomplish, which is, is it, if it's to evacuate out of Afghanistan, we can right. do this without losing another service member. And we have the full capacity. We don't need all these other people that are fly-by-nights trying to raise dollars off of the backs of everything else that we've done in this country in Afghanistan for the last 20 years. Never mind the, you know, and I don't even care. I could care less about the the $100 billion worth of equipment that's left behind. What I care about is one. I I will put more resources to save one American than I, uh, and and I could care less about the $100 billion worth of equipment that that is lost to the Taliban. We can can deal with that later. What we have to do is we have to have everything that we can to, to protect the safety and security of the American citizens, and frankly, the men and women, the soldiers that are there. What is a, a tragic, a real tragedy for me, and as a, as a commander and as a guy that's done this, as a leader that has, done, that has gone up to the door and knocked on the door of, a, of in, this, in this example that I'm thinking about, of a, of a spouse who, who, whose uh, soldier was just killed. I mean, General McKenzie didn't even talk about that. He didn't even say, I'm so sorry for the men and women that, are, that right. have lost their lives and yeah. the families who are now about to be uh, notified that you're, you're, you know, your Marine, they know, they know their Marines came over yeah. there to do this job. And now they're going to be notified. There's a whole bunch of places right now, a whole bunch of, of, uh, of worlds thousands turned upside and, down. And communities, the world. That's right. You know this. You know yep. the deal. And, and he, barely, he barely touched on that. He talked about the numbers of sorties and the numbers of people and how, yeah. much, how, how many people we've gotten out since whatever, 1 July. Yeah. The, there's mean, only, like have, you said, General, there's only one statistic we want to hear about right now. How many Americans are getting out of country? I, I know you're a busy, yeah. busy general. And so, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. One last thing. One last thing, uh, Carl, thank you for having me on and, and for your audience. You've got a great audience. The American government, the American military, we have the full capacity to do exactly what we want to do, not what the Taliban wants us to do. Right. And we have got to, th- this is the consequence of an election, okay? Elections have consequences, ladies and gentlemen. This is a consequence Boom. of the election. And we now have a leader, and we have leadership. The entire, in fact, I have, I, I have called for the entire chain of command to, to basically resign. Yeah. Or if you could fire them, I would fire them. Because we have, we have other leaders in our ranks, yeah. particularly in our military ranks, that know what to do. Yeah. This, is, this is beyond incompetent. It, it really is. Beyond incompetent. General, I, I appreciate your, your time, and I appreciate your service more than you know, sir. Thank you very much for coming on with us. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. God bless you. All right.